So in this segment, we're going to be talking about Tom Tugendhat, which at the time of recording, he's still in the uh, race to be Tory leader, as I call him, Tom Tug on his hat, which he su- says he supports the Northern Ireland Protocol legislation you know, to scrap basically the checks in the Irish Sea, but then also calls for a clean slate on the issue. You can't have both power. You can't punch someone in the face and be like, no, nah, let's call it even now when the other side didn't do anything. Like, bro, like what? Conservative leadership candidate Tom Tug on his hat has described the need for a clean slate on the protocol but confirmed he still supports the legislation to override it. You're not going to get a clean slate like that, pal. The way you get a clean slate is by getting rid of this legislation and saying, look, we need to start again. What can we do? The MP who was contending to become the new Prime Minister following Johnson said he would continue with delivering the bill. Speaking to Sky News, uh, Sophie Ridge on Sunday, Tugan Hat said, I think we need to deliver it, the protocol bill. The Northern Ireland protocol delivers leverage, but you need a clean start in order to get trust. the trust. So how are you going to get trust by passing the legislation? You know, He's going to use it as a leverage to say, well, if you don't play ball, we're going to get rid of the checks. Um, that's not how you get a clean slate. That's called blackmail. don't know if he's aware of that. He says, I have fought for my country in combat. Okay, congratulations. I have fought for my country in parliament. I mean, you haven't done a great job. Have you seen the state of the country? And I will keep fighting for my country. I mean, m- maybe you should stop because you're not doing a very good job. Tugan Hat said he voted Remain, but said there's no way back into the European Union. It's not 100% true. He added, what I want to do is get a clean start. You do that by getting rid of this legislation, mate. Let- let's be honest there. Tugan Hat also told BBC's Northern Ireland Sunday Politics programme he spent many years working alongside the Irish government and said one of his closest friends is Doug Beatty. Okay, cool. Why are you doing this to screw over the Irish government then if you claim you're such good friends with them? He says we need to make sure the Northern I- that Northern Ireland remains the best place to do business. It is. It's got access to the EU single market for goods and access to uh, where it can export to the UK single market for goods effectively. Um, there aren't checks, you know, wherever it exports to. That's great. You know, you don't get much better than that. For, uh, former Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt told LBC he would also continue with the protocol legislation. Um, Hunt saying, I hope that was somebody who wasn't Boris Johnson number 10. The mood music would change of our relationship with the EU. These people, man, they think just because Boris Johnson's gone, they think that just by them being in the role, everything will change. You know, magically, all the goodwill will come back. And the EU said, you know what? We will stop checks in the Irish Sea. Yeah, you know, I didn't like that Boris Johnson fella, but do you know what, Tom, tug on, uh, tug on your hat. You know what, Jeremy Hunt, I actually like you. Um, fair enough, Jeremy Hunt's out, but um, th- this kind of idea that exists within um, the government that somehow getting rid of Johnson is a reset doesn't make any sense. Hunt says, I think we have to be clear with the EU that no British Prime Minister could allow a situation where we don't have an internal market. Um, we do have an internal market. And you know what's ironic is your party, you yourself potentially, voted for that trade border in the Irish Sea. So for these people to argue no one, sh- no Prime Minister would allow it, um, you weren't Prime Minister, but you did allow it. I've got news for you, Chief. Mog has said it is really important the next Conservative Party leader backs the benefits of Brexit. I mean, yeah, sure, mate. Let's show some benefits apart from explosive bottles of um, sparkling wine and fish fingers and cheese that are going to be not as expensive as they could have been because we're not doing physical checks. I'm still waiting, buddy. But this this article goes to show you, you know, I'm a bit late in covering this one, a couple of days, but what this article shows you is the fact that none of these Tory leadership candidates are good. None of them. Because these are all... um, these are all Brexiteers now, all saying we need to get rid of, essentially, get rid of the Northern Ireland Protocol. He, Tom Tugendhat saying we need the legislation for a fresh start simply doesn't make sense. You know, in the end, ultimately, he's going to have to press the button and get rid of checks in the IRC because the EU aren't going to buckle here. So what, are you going to do it? Because if that's the case, then he is as radical as people in the ERG, effectively, because that's what people in the ERG want. They're a lot more open about it. But in the end, Tom Tugendhat's not going to have much choice. So for anyone to think that there are moderates within the Tory party, I've got news for you, Chief. They're all they're mostly gone. Mostly gone. I, I'm thinking about 90% of them, I think, are gone. The rest of them are just people, you know, in the ERG and a load of clowns who will do as they're told. That's it. Anyways, look, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.